Are you starting to feel festive with the holidays and the end of the semester approaching? Let's take a minute to celebrate SJS iSchool with a September, October, and November recap of news and blogs featuring news, career blog, Siri blog, iStudent blog, Mara blog, and Vicara blog. The news in the fall held many exciting stories to share, including scholarships, faculty, alumni always making waves, and the COA election sweep. Let's read some student success stories, because who doesn't love those? Please join me in congratulating Deanna Irby with the Graduate Equity Fellowship Award. She was selected for academic excellence and commitment to community. And these three students all received the CLA scholarship for minority students in memory of Edna Yelland. Shout out to Monica Vega Latona, Brandy Veal, and Myra Flintett. In addition, Madeline Dickerson received the Julia C. Blixer Scholarship for an essay she submitted that landed her a chance to travel to the ARL Fall Forum. And here she is pictured on the left at the forum. The faculty have been busy uh, putting a lot of books on your wish list, including Dr. Anthony Bernay, who released an updated version of his influential book, Transforming Young Adult Services, to further address the core question, how should LAS envision its YA users? And Dr. Michael Stevens' much-anticipated wholehearted librarianship is now available. The book explores leadership with heart in the field of librarianship. In addition, uh, the Emerald Publishing's 26th Annual Literary Awards recognized Dr. Michelle Chen and Dr. Pat Franks with a prestigious, highly commended award, and alum Emily Cohn was celebrated with an outstanding paper award. And an exciting iSchool alumni and student sweep at the CLA 2019 election. Congrats to J.N.T. Alderman, President-elect, Jeanette Contreras, and Brandy Bonafé, both elected to the board, and to Myra Fuentes as the student representative. Turning our attention to the career blog, this blog is a must read for students and job seekers and it's written by current iSchool student, Greta Snyder, that's me. Here are some top reads for fall. Did you blow your last job interview? Here are some tips for how to turn it around. Find out about the CLA SJSU iSchool poster reception, who was presenting and what were the topics. Cozy up with emerging technology and take a look at Library 2.0. And networking for novices. Don't worry, you've got this. But where to even start? Here are some great tips to begin. Next up is SJSU Center for Information Research and Innovation, or CIRI. This blog is written by CIRI coordinator, Dr. Lily Liu. Two fall research highlights include Dr. Jeffrey Liu, exploring the possibility of applying data mining in library settings and information services, and Dr. Kristen Redman's work as she shares uh, part of her MLS grants to address challenges associated with Native American digital access and inclusion. And next up is the not to be missed iStudent blog. Every student must check out the iStudent blog to connect with others and hear about development opportunities. It is written by current high school student Havala Steinman iSchool director Dr. Sandra Hirsch turns up her Twitter game to engage with students and LIS professionals through an IFLA continuing professional development and workplace learning live Twitter chat. Hear more about it. And explore some new places for LIS professionals to work, such as global records and management for aquariums and zoos. Read about Mara student Lara Frolke's internship at Oregon State Archives, helping launch her career. And don't miss a Stay in the life with iSchool student Kim Edwards, who currently works at the Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility. Turning to the Mara blog, it's written by student Kenna Wilker. Some highlights include Arma Infocon, Kenna's first time experience, hear all about it. Here she is pictured left with Dr. Pat Franks. In addition, an interesting story on archiving at the Vatican, a project involving high school students and AI. And in case you missed it, October is American Archives Month, but find out how it was celebrated through this blog post. And Vicara, did you know that SJSU holds virtual world events as part of our virtual center for archives and records administration, or Vicara? The blog is managed by MAR coordinator, Dr. Pat Franks. Read the recap of the virtual reality versus virtual world smackdown that was held on October 15th. I mean, there were dinosaurs present as you can see for this picture. So I think that makes it must read. And also check out 
the post-event synopsis of a tour of a nonprofit commons library held in November. Thanks for watching and happy holidays. No matter how you holiday, hopefully you'll get a chance to reset, recharge, and rejuvenate. Look forward to an end of the semester recap and stay posted on the news and blogs at iSchool.sjsu.edu in the news and events.